This video is sponsored by AMD. Dude, Martin, what's that, up, bro? The footage from the Falcon track day is pretty fucking epic, dude. Yeah? Yeah, dude, like, I have to ask you guys, like, how are you guys so sharp even though everything was shut down for a whole year? That's an ancient Moto IQ secret, sir. Yeah? You spill the beans, <laughs> man. How'd you do it? Well, you walk by it every day when you come into the office, man. It's right in the corner right over there. Let's go take a look. Okay, yeah, let's go. So like you mentioned, for the past year, we've been in a lockdown, but our friends over at AMD approached us about setting us up with a full race sim. And of course, we're not gonna turn that down. They hooked it up with their PC hardware and all the other parts from some of their partners like the folks at MSI, Thrustmaster, and more. The steering wheel we have is the Thrustmaster TSXW racer wheel. And this thing communicates road feedback very much like you would feel when driving a race car. You can find yourself fighting the wheel in dogfights against other drivers, or maybe just where you're trying to fight the road surface going around a corner. The pedals, shifter, and e-brake are also from Thrustmaster, which enhance the experience. Also on top of all those parts, we have this next level racing cockpit, which is what we're sitting on here, the race seat, which is fully adjustable. We can recline, move forward and back. But Next Level Racing also provides this setup here, which holds the screens. We have three MSI 1440p monitors, and they are all hooked up to a 6000 series GPU from AMD. But more on those tech details and exactly what is powering our rig a little bit later. The realistic sounds that come from a rig are handled by a Razer's Leviathan soundbar and subwoofer. Now, this system can really emulate, I mean, really almost any exhaust that you can throw at it, unless you're driving some sort of Tesla or something. Any car guy, we love hearing high RPM, especially some of the Ferrari engines or F1 cars, some of the old 70s and 80s F1 cars that you can play on some of the F1 games. It really does add a lot to the experience. The sound from this, from this Razor system truly is top notch. For all you Moto IQ viewers who are also uh, PC tech nerds, you'll be excited now. We're gonna get into the nitty gritty details of what our gaming computer from AMD here is all about. AMD provided us the Ryzen 7 5800X 8 core CPU. This thing is absolutely all we need in this rig. It's super powerful, has a great price to performance, and handles tons of workloads even outside of gaming. So for example, our camera guy can even use this to edit these videos now. As an added bonus, AMD also provided us this water cooling loop for the CPU, which will even further help the performance of the processor while under strenuous workloads by keeping it cooler. On the GPU front, AMD did us another solid and sent over their Radeon 6800 XT. This GPU, like its CPU brethren, packs a serious punch and will feed those MSI monitors we have with all the graphic goodness they can handle. And again, just like the CPU, this sweet bit of PC hardware is damn near impossible to get considering the semiconductor shortage we're going through, PC popularity, and also the crypto mining craze. But thankfully, we got our hands on one. As far as racing gear is concerned, we're pretty much covered off on all the vital components to deliver a pretty convincing simulation, all things considered. So there's our gaming rig powered by our AMD supercomputer here. Um, now that we've had a chance to drive on it and actually have some fun with it, what we'd really like to do is bring in some different drivers in here and actually play with the rig. So we're gonna bring in some drivers, some drifters, some road racers, maybe even some rally drivers. But what we really wanna see is for you to sound off in the comments and let us know who you wanna see here. Let us know what tracks you want them to drive. Ultimately, we wanna give them one track so they can drive one lap and see who can come out with Moto IQ lap time glory. Now, 
If you like this content, if you like the content that we bring you here at Moto IQ, please like the video, please subscribe to our channel. That's the only way we can actually show our supporters that we're actually doing something here. So like it, follow us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.